Hello, this is Mr. Myesis, and you're watching this video on the arithmetic of random variables. Gobble, gobble, peep, peep, quack, quack. Um, we got turkey, chicken, and a duck, and I'll tell you what we got to do with that in just a second. Here we go. So we're going to look at the arithmetic of random variables. And we're really looking at a discrete random variable, but hey, we'll see what we look like, what we have here. So here's the question. What's the average cost of a turducken? Um, if you don't know what a turducken is, a turducken is a, um, I believe it's a chicken stuffed in a duck stuffed in a turkey. And yes, people actually do that. There's a, an example of one right here. Well, if the average cost of a turkey is $25 with a standard deviation of 10 and the average cost of a chicken is $6 with a standard deviation of 250 and the average cost of a duck is $8 with a standard deviation of 375 what would be the average cost and standard deviation of a turducken? Well, in order to do that, we need to have some random variable arithmetic. And we're going to say the random variable x is the cost of a, um, a turkey and the random variable y. And so I'll go through that. But here are the arithmetic of random variable x. This is the expected value. So if we add a number like 5 to my expected value or to each thing in there, my expected value is just going to be the new expected value is just going to be um, the regular expect whatever I had before added to that value. Okay, so if I had an expected value of five and I add everything everything in there by two, then my new expected value is going to be seven. Now you'll notice here that I have a lot of stuff on variance. It turns out that probably uh, what you're going to want to make sure you remember is that the number one rule here, okay, rule is change standard deviation to variance then back to standard deviation okay we've got to change it to our standard to our variance so that we can do um, the addition and multiplication or whatever, then we can go back and change it back to our standard deviation because a lot of the things have to do with um, with the expected val with the variance and using the variance to get our standard deviation. So you'll notice here that if we have two different random variables x and y, and we're adding those random variables together, the standard v deviation of the sum of those random variables is the square root of the sum of the variances. And don't forget the variances is the standard deviation of x squared plus the standard deviation of y squared. So really it looks like that. And it kind of looks like um, the Pythagorean theorem. We kind of call it the Pythagorean theorem of statistics, okay? So whenever we're finding the standard deviation of two random variables, we're gonna have to um, take the square root of each of those squared. All right, so let's go back. Um, hopefully, you had a time to write this down. If not, pause it, write them all down, and then we'll go to the next. We'll go to the problem. So let's go back to our problem here of the turducken. If the average cost of a turkey, so we're going to say the cost of a turkey, the the cost of turkey is our random variable x. And our random variable y is going to be cost of um, a chicken and random variable z is going to be cost of um, duck and we want to find the average cost of the turducken which is all three of these together so we are looking for e x oops let me write that here. We're looking for the expected value of x plus y plus z. And we know from our previous slide here that the expected value of two random variables is just the expected value added together. All right, so we're going to go ahead and, and ha have that as being our expected value of x plus our expected value of y plus our expected value of Z. We're just going to add them up together. So we have $25 plus $6 plus $8, and we get $39. All 
Okay, so in our next, um, that's the average cost. So now we have the average cost of a turducken is $39. So what's the standard deviation? Well, the standard deviation of x plus y plus z is going to be, we're going to use that little uh, Pythagorean theorem rule that I said. So it's a standard deviation of squared of x plus the standard deviation squared of y plus the standard deviation squared of z because I'm turning it to the variance and remember the variance is the square of the standard deviation alright so let's go ahead and put those in there so we're gonna have 10 squared plus 250 squared plus 375 squared okay so that's gonna give us ten dollars and 97 cents so we have our standard deviation and our average cost of a turducken so this is how we use random variable um, arithmetic in a uh, situation a problem situation so notice here I know this is like well what happened to our probability model where we had to multiply probabilities and whatnot well you know the, the all that stuff was done for us already it already found the average it already found the um, the, the standard deviation let's say I wanted to know what the average cost of sorry, I'm getting all these emails what the average cost of six turduckens are well now I'm, I'm doing six times e to the x plus y plus z so I'm just gonna get 39 times 6. What if I want to know the average cost of, oh, we can't really see that. Let's do the green. I think you can see the green. Yeah. What if I want to know the, the standard deviation? Well, the standard deviation, I have to change. It's going to be the square root. All right. It's going to be 6. Let me rewrite this here. So let me go back up here. I have um, uh, six turduckens with six x plus because I need six turkeys, six chickens, six ducks. Okay, that's the same as six times all the whole thing, which is 39 times six, which is 234. All right, but if I did the standard deviation of six ducks, six chickens, and six turkeys, then I would do the square root of six squared times 10 squared because I got that from my standard deviation. Six squared times 250 squared, standard deviation. Six squared times 375 squared, standard deviation. I square root all that and I get. Sixty-five dollars and eighty-one cents. All right. So this is an example of what we do when we had a multiplier. Here we added three different uh, random variables. Here we multiplied a number, a constant, times the three random variables. And uh, the only other thing would be if I added, you know, let's say I added um, four dollars to everything for cranberry sauce because I need cranberry. So what I would do here is I would just add. I would add four dollars to my average so if I added the red will be cranberry sauce okay cranberry cranberry cost uh, four four dollars so I'm just gonna add four dollars so I'm gonna add four dollars to that and I'm gonna get 238 right that's my my new cost my new average cost with the cranberries that are four dollars I don't need four dollars each of them I just need four dollars total um, my standard deviation is not affected by addition this goes all the way back to the beginning when we talked about not at the beginning of the video, but in the beginning of the course, we talked about that means are affected by addition and multiplication, but standard deviation measure of center is not affected by addition. So the standard deviation is still going to be 6581, even with the cranberries. All right, so that is an example of using the arithmetic of random variables. See you soon. Bye.